and, who's and, gonna say I'm gonna take this opportunity to, to bring forty crates and play vinyl all night? Who's gonna right. do it? Um, yo, and let, I would do that just for the just so people can get the experience, right? But people don't see the significance in it. Oh, why you wanna do that? Oh shit, you don't need to do that. But y'all don't even understand the records y'all playing because now everything is just given to you so easy. What would you say the reason for that is? You're saying DJs now, they don't even play the whole records. Like when it comes to breaks, they just go straight to the break part. They don't understand how to build anticipation and then start cutting up the break part after you've let the song breathe for a little while. What would but you say? They, because they they don't because they wasn't brought up that way. They right. was like, oh, get get right to it and get to the next thing. Ah, you know when I see cats, I was in a party and certain DJ came in and he was just playing like the intro to the records, and I was like, these motherfuckers enjoy this. So are you saying then that the DJs, the pioneers? your colleagues from the first decade of hip hop, when they played music, we, the younger generation, the generations that came after, have this misconception that DJs were just going from break to 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 break for an hour, two hours. They were after they got past, you know, got to the, oh, well, you know, I got to play like, even so, in the old tapes, if you listen to the old tapes, some breakbeats cats would jump on, and some wouldn't. So, are you saying? Some, are you saying? I just want to get clarification. Are you saying that in the initial formative years of what we know to be as hip hop DJing, when Herc was playing out and Bam was playing out, they would let the songs play out so that you would hear the song, and then. In Herc's case, when the break would come in and he would see the B-Boys going down to the floor, he would switch from one break to another to kind of keep the energy on the dance floor going. But would you say then Flash is the one that influenced DJs to go from break to break to break to break to break to break to break, to break you know, over the course of an hour or so? Is well, that- I would give I would give it to Flash as one of the beginners because Flash was more on time, right, than anybody at that time, no faster doubt. and more on time. But then you got a Theodore comes in with the scratching, because the scratching and the cutting is two different things. The scratching and the chopping it up is two different things. Flash was more so cutting. Yes. Theodore was more so scratching, like moving the record back and forth without the yes. fader, without using the fader. Yes. And Flash would incorporate more fader work and cut the sound in and out. And that is the difference, the differentiation yes. that so you're making. So now when Flash start doing this, now Breakout and DJs that wanted to do what Flash do now, they all are chopping it up, looking for different beats because... If Breakout got a, you know, Breakout was getting a lot of his beats from Mark the 45 King before he became the 45 King. Um, he had certain people giving them, bringing them breaks, like, yo, try this, right. this, this. Right. You know, Africa Bambada coming with the Zulu beats and right. African beats and Salsa beats. And, you know, so, you know, you got different people bringing different music to life. Now you you hear something in Africa Bambada party. Now you got to find that because he's not just giving it to you. He washing out the records. He putting tape over the records. Same thing with her. Over the labels, over the labels so that no one could read them. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. So now you got to listen to it and you got to hunt for it. You got to find it. it. You got to find it. Yeah. And what, what would you say is the difference now with DJs? Well, DJs is just getting copying people hard drives now. People and, are, are ain't nobody looking for, you know. And then when I hear these b boys, when I hear these b boy things, and and you know, I'm like, that's what they breaking. They using that as, as a break to the battle with. Yeah, like they, they'll know? they'll break over know the ledge, rock him. Yeah, right. Yeah, and you're saying and, and you're saying even that's not it's a hard track. It's not. It's not the tradition. It's not. 
paying not, proper know. homage to the meaning of breaking and how it's supposed to be presented. Yeah, and then a lot of breaks, breakers are just going through the moves. They're not even riding the music. To them, it's more about the theatrics, like the power moves. So they yeah. don't they don't set yeah. you up. They don't do you know funky up rock. They don't understand how to like build into the power moves. They just jump right into them. Yeah, but they don't know the music. Yeah. Like when in her party, if he played Corazon, even though it's an instrumental, we mouthing the, the tune instrumentation. As we, as yeah, we you're yeah. mouthing the guitar. You're mouthing the bass. You're mouthing yeah. the drums. You're mouthing the horns. You're mouthing the pianos. With the music. Right. They don't even. They don't do that. It's like, I feel like DJs now hear music. They don't listen to it. It's like they no. hear it. They hear it. No. They don't really listen they don't, to it. They, they don't, don't catch the vibe. Right. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Don't That's catch fair. The vibe. That's fair. Yo, but let me ask you this. Going back to like the crate digging and, you know, hunting for music that you would have heard band play at one party, then you got to remember that song and go hunt for it, not know what the label looks like, not know who the artist is, not know what the title of the song is, but you would go hunt. Bam played this record, King Curtis, for years. Memphis Soul Stew. And I look for that record, I look for that record, I look for that record. I had to find out what company it came on, Atlantic Records. Um, got to find out the artist. And I just kept looking for it, couldn't find it. I think I was in New Orleans when I found it. Damn, Walked up crazy. on the record store. That's crazy. Um, and got up in there and I was like, what? Found it found it um it's still a record that i ain't never heard nobody play it and he's got two different versions of it because he said totally 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 listen and he'll play it knowing i still don't know what this record is today and and the thing about it is he won't tell you because it's almost like disrespectful in a way to. Well, I won't ask them. Right, right. That is probably the more appropriate way of saying I it. I won't you wouldn't ask, ask them because him because out of respect out of for respect, the culture. Out of respect, right, right. And and, and, and do you and, well, and, real quick and, tone tone. Do you feel like that respect that code that DJ code is missing now? Like, what makes you? Say that. It, 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 uh, yeah, I, I feel it's missing because everybody's not a DJ that is a DJ. Mm. 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 And they just <laughs> DJs because it's so easy to be a DJ now. Right. It's easy and people DJ now because of the attention that comes with DJ, not for the craft of it. Yeah. Yo, let me ask you, you. Let me ask you this. One last question, because I don't want to keep you on the phone forever. Or else you, I'll be here for three hours, bro. But what would you say to a DJ entering the game fresh out the box today? You know what I tell DJs, especially DJs, say, oh, I've been DJing for 20 years and all this. But you still don't know how to hook up a pair of turntables. Right. Learn your craft. Right. It's not just about... Yeah, it's not clicking play it's, on a laptop yeah. and playing an MP3 and then you know twisting a filter knob like you guys did it and loved it and respected it to the point the to cavemen. where to the right cavemen. right to the point to where it was such a part of who you were as people as young kids that you didn't let anything stop you it didn't matter whether you had the most advanced DJ gear you used what you could and if you didn't have it, you would build it because you love the craft that much. Right now, dude, I would tell you 1,000%, 99.9% of the people that DJ would not be DJing if there wasn't apps like Serato. Right, exactly. If there wasn't controllers that made transporting your gear easy, 99.999% of the people that DJ would not be DJing because I, I they're doing it for the attention that comes with DJing, not because they love music and playing music for people and learning about music. Like you said, they'll, they'll just play whatever's hot. They don't know about 
classic disco, classic house. They just know what's on the top 40 charts on billboards. So when, when you, you know, like I tell cats, hey, oh, I'm old school. I got to play with turntables. I said, no, you're supposed to be a DJ. So you supposed to, anything they put in front of you that you can DJ, right. you should have some knowledge. Of right. It. Some right. knowledge of it. All of you guys have done things that a lot of these young DJs don't even realize. And there wouldn't be this art to make money off and pay your rent off and get attention from and likes and follows and go viral off if it wasn't for the foundation that y'all laid. And I just want to say thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, man, because you created a path for DJs like myself to go and buy houses, dude, and property and drive cars and put clothes on our backs. You know what I mean? Like, and you guys did it because you loved it for no other reason other than you loved the music, you loved the culture, and it was a way for y'all to escape the gang culture, the violence that was permeating in the Bronx and New York City in general. And I just want to say thank you. I'm here to say thank you. On behalf of the DJs that don't even realize they should be thanking you, bro. Thank you, man. It, it, it's, 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 it's hard to hear a young artist say, yo, fuck them old niggas. That's how they did it. Right. I don't care how you doing it. You still doing it off what we started. I don't care what you doing now. You still doing it off what we started what we created, what we brought to life, what we made profitable. Mm. You know, 